Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on tibial shaft fracture. The tibia is one of the most common long bones to be fractured. The shaft is vulnerable to both direct injuries and indirect injuries. For clinical features, patients will present with a history of trauma. They will complain of severe pain in the lower leg and an inability to weight bear. On examination, there may be a clear deformity and significant swelling and bruising. Also, look for any open fracture and do a full neurovascular examination for investigations. Urgent bloods, including a coagulation and group and save, should be sent. Next, full-length anteroposterior and lateral plane film radiographs of the tibia and fibula should be requested. CT imaging can be done to evaluate for potential intra-articular extension. For management, the tibia should be realigned as soon as possible, ideally in emergency department under analgesia or conscious sedation. Following reduction, an above-knee back slab should be applied to control rotation. The limb must be elevated immediately and closely monitored for signs of compartment syndrome. Post-manipulation plane radiographs should be performed and the neurovascular status of the limb reassessed and documented. Most tibial shaft fractures are managed surgically. Urgent operative intervention is required in the context of an acute compartment syndrome, an ischemic limb, or an open fracture. Non-operative management with a sarmine tocast should be considered in closed stable tibial fractures and must be discussed with the patient as an alternative to operative intervention. For surgical management, intramedullary nailing is the most commonly used method of fixing tibial shaft fractures. For proximal or distal fractures, especially those which extend into the joint may require open reduction internal fixation, with locking plates. Those with multiple injuries may require temporary external fixation if they are not stable enough to undergo definitive surgery. Complications include compartment syndrome, ischemic limb, open fractures, malunion, and nonunion. That's all for this video. Thank you.